everyone. Welcome back to another episode. Today I've got a great little tip for you that's brought to you by Bridgeford Foods and it has to do with how do you make your crankbaits and lipless crankbaits uh, a little bit more weedless. And in this case, so this is a Berkeley Warpig. It's a great lipless crankbait, but like all lipless baits and crankbaits, when you're pu pulling the bait through the water, the bait will ride more like this. And when it's going like this, the majority of your uh, snags will come on this front hook. And that, ha you know, that regardless of whether you're talking about wood or grass, the majority of the snags come on the front hook. So to eliminate that, what I recommend doing is cutting off your front hook on your treble hook just to make it a two hooked treble hook. And to, to figure out which one you want to do, you let the bait just hang naturally. And you'll see that the, the split ring will be uh, perpendicular to the eye, uh, that's the, the hook hanger on the bait. And you'll always have one treble hook that's pointing forward. So in this case, I'm going to cut this front treble hook off. So all you need is a good pair of uh, hook cutters and you can cut that front one off and you want to do it. You want to do it as close to uh, the hook to, to the, the solder point, just because you don't want to have a little bit sticking up. If you have a little bit sticking up, that will still catch on weeds or any sort of, uh, you know, bottom grass that's growing. You, it'll be weedless from a standpoint of wood, but you'll still pick up some moss on it. In this case, this has been cut close enough and you're not gonna have any issues with that. So now, when you're pulling that bait through the water, this hook is gonna naturally ride up and be against the belly of, of the bait. And it really doesn't have a huge impact on your, uh, your hookup percentage with the fish. I've got here a, a largemouth bass that Hank caught for me earlier today. And what I mean by that is when this bait is coming through the water, if a bass hits it from the side and that hook is up against the, the back of the bait, when that bass bites, they inhale and they create that suction. And at that point, this hook is still gonna swing up into the fish's mouth. And usually what happens is the bait will actually come up like this. And at that point, as soon as the fish closes its mouth, that hook now will be just flopping around. And you've got two of the three hooks to still hook up on that fish. I find that, you know, you don't really miss many bites. Your landing percentage is still pretty much as good as it is you, you have a hard time even realizing that you're missing a hook and the best part about it is this bait is significantly more weedless when bringing it through uh, wood and stumps and anytime you're fishing grass which is what you do with a lipless crankbait this bait now uh, will come through that grass so much better it's amazing the difference that you'll get I mean you find that when you go to rip it you're ripping it more clean out of the weeds because you're not it's not buried in the weeds because that front hook is is the one that normally catches on the weed stalks so give it a try guys it works great on lipless crankbaits it works absolutely wonderful on uh, diving crankbaits as well and you know i guarantee you you'll find that you're not getting stuck nearly as much and your hookup percentage is still as good and i actually want to say that you might catch one or two more fish because now instead of getting caught on that stump or on that you know that uh, brush pile that you're fishing it will actually allow you to work the bait through without getting stuck and trigger that that fish to strike so it's a great little tip highly recommend it give it a try let me know in the comment section what you think and uh, if you liked it please like hit the like button and please subscribe to the channel and uh, stay tuned for more tips